Yeah, hello, this is Matthias Müll for MamoWorld.com and welcome to this After Effects tutorial where I want to show you some advanced feature of the Text Exploder tool for After Effects. Namely, uh, this tool can split text layers into individual characters, words, lines or isolate a custom word. And also it has now this very powerful but also a bit complex feature of custom regular expressions which allows you to do like more specific splits, split at very specific individual points uh, and do like add a lot of flexibility here. So I have prepared four samples and be aware really that this custom regular expressions is a pretty complex piece. It's so powerful, it can do so many things. So this comes at a certain complexity level. Um, but here I want to give you f just four practical examples to give you an idea what is possible. So let's say we have this text here and we essentially want to split it into individual words, but the words feature is not good enough because what we want to achieve is that you can see here are names inside and we want to do it such that the first and last name always stay one layer and are not split into two layers. Yeah, therefore using just words would not be good enough. This here is a DNA string example where I want to split this string into substrings of length three. Yeah, always cut after three letters. Also easily doable with regular expressions. Here I want to do something similar. I want to split this into individual zeros and ones, but if there are several zeros in a row or several ones in a row, they should stay one layer. Yeah. So for example, the first two ones here should stay together, then this zero should be uh, uh, ju just for its on its own on a layer, then this one should be alone, and then these four zeros should be again one layer. Yeah. So if you want to split it in such a way, this is the next example we want to cover. And finally here, I want to isolate all numbers that start with a dollar here at the front. Yeah. It's like I want to keep an individual word or an individual uh, layer, so this uh, dollar number here, an individual one, but each other word should not be an individual layer. And also this 2017, for example, should not be a layer. So you can be so precise with uh, irregular expressions to control exactly where to split your uh, layers. And first of all, I want to start with showing you that often you don't even need to go for custom regular expressions, but often it's good enough to go with custom word. So to keep things simple. Yeah. So let's say, for example, here you want to split up this text. And again, we want to keep the names first and last name together in one layer. And apart from this, everything should be split up into individual ones. Yeah. So what can we do? We can just recursively split it. So step by step not do everything at once. So we say, for example, you notice that all those lines have this colon here, here and here. So let's first split at the colon. So we enter colon and make sure we delete the original and apply. And now you can see we already have these two parts and the colon in the middle. Yeah. And now we can just select all of them again. Or let's say we continue now with this last part here and say this number and points, number and points, we want to split this. So we select these three and say actually points should be its own layer, apply to all of them. And now you can see here all of them are split into individual words. And now maybe we want to still get rid of this Mr. or Mrs. here at the beginning. So we select those three and first start with Mrs. And on those that have not a Mrs. like this Mr. here, this layer, it just will do nothing. So it doesn't hurt to have it also selected. I start with Mrs. because if I would start with Mr. Then it would even split this Mr. here f that is part of this MR that is part of MRS. Yeah, so, so therefore I start first with Mrs. And apply. I can see this one is isolated and this one too. And now finally I go here and say this Mr. should be isolated too. apply. And now we are done. So you can just use split at word several times to achieve what you want. This is often good enough, but you can do this quicker with regular expressions. So let me quickly undo, quickly undo all of this. And with a regular expression, you can actually do all those splits at the same time. You can say, if you find a missus, then you want to split at this point. If you don't find a missus, so you say or, this is this vertical bar means or, yeah. Mister is also something that I want to have isolated, or I want to have the colon, or I want to have 
points. These are essentially all those splits that we did before. Yeah, uh, And so we just select it, click apply, and let the tool do its job. And in just one run of the tool, you can see everything here is isolated as we expected. Yeah. Now, this is a simple way of saying or vertical line here. Uh, so um, to, s to do several such splits of fixed words, so to speak, uh, in one go. But regular expressions can do much more. So you can, for example, use uh, wildcard symbols. A dot represents any letter. Yeah? And if you want to say, I want to split this entire DNA string here, for example, in always substrings of length three, you ju can just say dot, 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 which means everything that is three letters long. You can go do more complex. You could say everything that has three letters and the middle one is an A should be split. But here we keep it simple, simple. We just say everything that's three letters long should become its own word. We select the string, click apply, let it do its job. And you can see now here, uh, everything is split into parts of three letters. Yeah? You can also now split this text here by saying we want to have um, ones should always be on their own. Yeah, You could say something like one should be on their own or two ones should be on their own or three ones or so on. But this is somehow pretty tedious to write and you actually you should do it the other way around. You must say something like five ones should be and if you don't find five ones maybe you find four of them or you find three of them or so on. Yeah, But there's a nice shortcut that just says I want to have ones and actually I want one of them or more and plus in this case is a placeholder or the a special w w uh, symbol with a special meaning that says if you find this or several of them as many as you can find put them in their own words yeah so you just say one plus and click on apply and now you can see these two ones are in their own word this zero is in its own word this one is in its own word. Now there are four ones, uh, four zeros coming again. Yeah, and you notice that I only need to specify the ones here because in between the ones there are only zeros. Yeah, if the ones always or sequences of ones al al always become their own words, then the zeros in between automatically also become their their own part because everything between the matches of this here also becomes its own. Word. Okay, before we start with this very complicated last example, I want to give you a general tip. And this is if you start writing more complex regular expressions, I highly recommend to test them on the website regex101.com. So it's important to understand that regular expressions are not an invention of Text Exploder, but this is a general concept of programming yeah they exist in many uh, programming languages so uh, regular expressions and this website lets you easily test those regular expressions so how is this working let's say we start with this text here so we select it copy it and we paste it here yeah and now you can enter here some regular expression and it shows you immediately which parts here would be matched by this so for example you could s just enter here went and you see it marks this went and I could say went or fr for example and then it says I would split this into its individual word and fr into its ever in its own word and everything in between would be one string yeah so like this would become one string and the up would become one string and so on so you get an immediately a nice preview of what is happening and if you go back for just for a second let me just enter here some more sample text let's say we had here just such a crazy zero and one string yeah and we would do our one plus and you can see that it colors all those ones in different uh, blue tones and you immediately see where your splits would be happening yeah namely at the beginning and end of each colored area so um, also you have here in the regex 101 web page here a quick reference of all those special symbols that you have yeah so so far we had this dot character that matches any single character. Yeah, it's a wild card for anything. This is what we needed for the DNA sequence to say dot 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 means split into three individual letters. Yeah, dot dot dot, and you can see here it immediately shows you ah okay, this is the way this string would be split up into individual letters. Now you can go even more crazy and say hmm, 
I don't like that this space here is consi considered as one of the letters. If I split into three individual letters, I want to do it differently. Like for example, it should say, okay, this is just two letters long. I cannot do anything about it. Okay, this is four letters long. This is the way I want to split it. But maybe with sales, I don't want to have this S separately and have it together with a seven. Yeah. So if you don't want this, if you, you could do something like using this any white space character or any non white space character symbol. So if we say here, so backslash s means anything that is not a space or a tab or any white space symbol. So you could say something like backslash s, backslash s, backslash s. And you can see that we are getting very geeky here now. But you can see now it's not matching the white space symbol. So the space is here in between anymore. And now the sales is split such that the first three letters are actually. Uh, be are becoming one word, yeah. Whereas before, with dot dot dot, you can see the sales was split differently. So you have very high level control here of what is happening by specifying those pattern. And again, dot means any character. Backslash big S means anything that is not white space. Backslash lowercase S means anything that is white space. And we also have here any digit. Yeah, so this may be very nice for, for what we need. If you want to isolate those numbers here, we want to uh, isolate this $100,000 and $200,000. Blah, blah, so what can we do here? We could just first start with let's match some digits. Yeah, this would split every number you can see here, every actually it's individual digit into a separate layer. So this is not what we would want. We want to keep the entire $100,000 to be together just one layer. Yeah? So we say we want several digits, as many as you can find. So we say plus. Now you can see, okay, it will group these three, three numbers together and these three, but not yet the dot in the middle. Yeah? So we want to also allow dots. So what we now have, we don't have here such a special abbreviation for digits and dots or something like this, but what we can use are these, uh, a, B, C in brackets, in square brackets thing here. Yeah, this is a single character of A, B, C. Uh, this means like put in square brackets whatever you allow as a symbol. So we want to, in this case, like refine. We don't say we want just a digit, but we also want uh, dots. So we just write it like this. We say we create in square brackets a group of what we of, of the following uh, letters yeah, or the following characters. We either want to have a digit or we want to have a dot. Yeah? And now we do not want to have just one of this, but we want to have plus as many as we can find. Yeah? So again, what is happening here? Actually here on the right, you always find a nice explanation of what is happening. Yeah? The, this orange part is a group of letters that we want to accept and it says either it is a digit or it is a dot. So really a dot. No, in this case dot is not a placeholder because it's inside of those square brackets. Yeah, Outside it would mean match anything. Inside it would mean just a dot. And I explained to you before that this tutorial could get a little bit geeky but I still hope you are able to follow or at least get how powerful the system here is. Yeah? So this is not yet 100% what we want because first the dollar is not included in our match so the dollar would still be part of the other layer outside and also this 2017 here which has no dollar at the beginning would also be isolated and we said we only want to uh, isolate these dollar numbers here. So how can we find this? We can say, okay, at the very beginning of this, there should also be a dollar. Yeah. Now, strangely enough, there is no um, match anymore. And let's take a look at our explanation here. This explanation says, dollar asserts that position is at the end of the string or before the line terminator, blah, blah. So what this tells you is that dollar seems to have a special meaning because it's not saying dollar just matches the dollar sign literally. Yeah. So if we put, put here an A, it says A matches the character A literally. And no, for dollar this does not seem to be the case. And this is because dollar has a special meaning. You find it here in this list of stuff that has a special meaning. So to say 
we really want to have the dollar and not the thing with a special meaning, we need to put a backslash in front of it. This is whenever you need to, like also if you want to say, I want to match a dot, I want to match a plus, whatever has a special meaning here, you can put a backslash before it and then it's ignored. Yeah. So then it's considered just the just symbol. So here it also explains now, backslash dollar matches the character dollar literally. And now we actually have here what we wanted. Yeah. So now this will become its own layer, this will become its own layer, and the rest stays one string without splitting it any further. Yeah. And again, this is a really, really complex example, and I just want to show you how really powerful it is. And of course, if you would have just a string with those two numbers to isolate, it would be much faster to go for split indi or isolate individual word and first isolate this number and then isolate this number and that's it. But if you have a text of less like, I don't know, 100 such numbers or so, developing such a regular expression with the help of regex101, dot com would be maybe a very elegant solution. So we just copy this string that is now exactly the one we want, go back here, enter this into as regular expressions into text exploder. We select our layer, click apply, and you can see the result is as expected. This is its own layer, this is its, its own layer, and here this part uh, stays one layer. Okay, I hope all of this was not too confusing. Again, the very simple applications of sp splitting at re uh, in regular expressions is just using this OR symbol to do like several, essentially several custom word splits as one. These wildcard characters with like dot, dot, dot to split into three individual letters is also, I guess, pretty useful sometimes. And all this very advanced stuff, I understand if this is pretty geeky, yeah, you don't really need it a lot, I guess, but whenever you have a complex text to split and splitting it manually or with just a custom word would be very tedious, I think it can, can really be a lifesaver. Last note, maybe these regular expressions have nothing to do with the expressions language of After Effects itself. Yeah, this is just by accident having the same name. So regular expressions are a concept of programming and describe like what uh, regex 101 is about this ability to specify substrings into long strings uh, with these strange but very very powerful patterns here. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you get a good idea now what those custom regular expressions are about. Again, to learn them I highly recommend just to play with regex 101, see here what is happening, reading this explanation here and reading uh, those this quick reference here. I hope this gets you started. And yeah, again, this is Matthias from marmoworld.com and I'm looking to forward to see you in the next tutorial.